Teaching students about designing flags can be a fun and engaging activity, and Canva makes it a breeze. Hi, I'm Belle, the Design Education Lead for Canva for Education. In this video, I'll walk you through a perfect activity to boost class morale. Also doubling as a fun home project for kids and parents alike. Whether it's for your child, niece or nephew, this activity is sure to both captivate and educate. Okay, the first question, what is a flag? This is how I'd like to start the class. While it seems straightforward, we need to agree on a few essential elements. If it was me, I'd have them share their ideas while I capture them on the board. You'll no doubt get some comments about what the flag is made from, fabric, cloth, or some material that will withstand the elements. Others might talk about the design that features on the flag. It needs to be distinctive, a unique symbol. Okay, but a symbol for what? This is where we talk about how the flag needs to represent a group, a country, a cause, or a belief. This is the perfect opportunity to show a range of flags, flags I might recognize, and talk through what the symbols mean or represent. Let me show you how I'd build that. From the Canva homepage, choose Presentation. Now go into the Elements tab. Search for flags. Choose Graphics. This will give you a lot of countries. I'd choose a few the class would respond to or that have an interesting story behind them. The flag of the United States. 50 stars represent the 50 states, while the 13 stripes symbolize the original 13 colonies. Japan, the red circle or the sun, a major element of the country's mythology and belief system. South Africa, the Y shape represents the convergence of diverse elements of society taking the road ahead in unity. Hmm, what else could I put on that's not country related? What about the Olympics? Five interlocking rings represent the five continents of the world. Oh, the Jolly Roger is always a favorite, designed to be immediately recognizable and instill fear. Ah, here is one you might see on the water, the scuba diver down flag highly visible against the blue or green water, signaling there's a diver below. Okay, that seems like a good selection to get the discussion started. As you can see, it's very easy. So I can open it up to the class and keep adding flags from the element library. It also gives you a chance to talk about color symbolism. What color stands for what emotion or idea? enhancing their understanding of visual communication. Okay, enough talk. It's time for them to develop their own. Before we do that, let's quickly discuss the different flag designs and how they can be categorized. Bicolor or tricolor flags are made up of two or three equally sized horizontal or vertical stripes. The cross could be centered or offset. A diagonal cross known as a saltire or St. Andrew's cross flags that feature a central emblem or seal. Stripes, can't forget them. Flags with a single background color and a central symbol, sometimes called the charge. Or are designed in the upper hoist side corner. And you could always have a combination of some of the above. Or all of the above. I wonder if that'd work. Okay, let's get the students designing their own. Now we could set up a template, but a simple search for flag will give plenty of options. Choose the blank flag, open the element tab, and I'd get them to begin with simple lines and shapes. You'll notice two different types of handles. These expand or contract diagonally. These vertically and these horizontally. And in no time, I have something visually interesting, if a bit meaningless. Okay, let's get some meaning on there. I'll find some inspiration by doing a search in graphics. Oh, this one gives me idea. Nice, I think that meaning is pretty obvious now. I'll find a few extra elements to balance it out.
and I think I'm about done. Imagine having all your students coming up with their own class flag designs. Provide feedback on their designs and ask them to justify their choices based on their intended message. Think about the learning outcomes you can tick off. Plus, it's fun. When I've run this with classes, the students are so focused and engaged. That reminds me of a video my teammate Lena did. Just go to the Canva YouTube channel and navigate to the tips from the team playlist. There's new tips and tricks being uploaded every week, taught by people working right here at Canva. Ah, oh, here it is, comic strips. This is another great activity for the classroom. Might be a good one to watch after this. So what do we do with all these beautiful flags? Well, unfortunately, Canva doesn't print flags yet. I say it because what we can print globally is increasing all the time as we partner with more and more local printers. This got me thinking about a poster where we can showcase all the flags and who made them. Starting back on the home page this time, I'll search for a poster template. Choose the blank one. Now I've collected all the students' designs. Then I can drag and drop them into the right spaces. I'll put a heading here. Use a font that is easy to read, but also has a bit of style. Underneath each flag, I'll put the creator. That's already looking pretty interesting and graphic. Ensure the flags stand out by limiting other graphics that could distract the viewer. Okay, I'm happy with that. It's very professional looking and I know my students will feel very proud to have that up in their classroom. Go to the share menu to download a PDF print. Then you can just send that to your printer. If you do have some budget, you could get Canva to do all the hard work for you. Select the size you want. Notice how the preview changes at the top. It looks so good. When you are happy, press continue and it'll be on its way to you within the week with free delivery. If you want to include the parents, you could also create a view only link here. This is a link you can send out via email, messaging, or even turn it into a QR code they can scan. This is what they'll see, a simple and free way to share the student's work. Okay, wow. That brings us to the end of our flag lesson. What do you think? Could you see this working in your classroom? Do you think your students will find this fun? Any questions or feedback, I'd love to hear them. Put them in the comments below and we'll get back to you. Hello there, you're still here, excellent. Interested in some free teaching resources? Check out our Canva for Education site from Design School. Just scan this QR code. It's full of engaging activities, cheat sheets and tutorials you could use today in your classroom. Oh, and playlists here. And this video might go well with what we've just covered. See you next time.